Right, this is our uh, Coleman 1200RK. Uh, I'm starting on the outside. I haven't cleaned it yet, but uh, getting it ready to sell. And one thing I want to point out initially is uh, this decal started to come off, so I put some uh, Gorilla sealant tape on it to keep it there. It's been fine for six months. It's not going anywhere. This is the tongue. It comes with a 100 amp hour AGM battery that's on it. Uh, it's a crank to raise it. it. has propane, but in this model the propane only runs a grill that mounts on the side, and I'll get to that. Uh, this spare and wheel and the bracket I added for the spare tire, It's uh, that was about 200 bucks. Never been used. It's the side. It's got a nice friction door. The, uh, down here there's a little uh, holder for when you're camping if you want to keep it uh, keep it open. Uh, this is a side. It's a small trailer, that's why I'm getting rid of it. Um, we tried, I've been out twice in it. The second time was with my wife and she didn't like it at all. It doesn't come with a bathroom. I, uh, I would buy a uh, toilet. Um, some people don't mind that. I mean you can go camping, stay right next to a, uh, a campground restroom. It's got nice uh, aggressive tires on it. It's uh, lifted pretty high too for a small RV. And the drain pipe is in the back. I'll get to that too. So, I mean, this could go some places. I mean, wouldn't go uh, four wheeling on the thing and bounce it around. But uh, it's been pretty solid. No problems with it. But I've only owned it since uh, November of 2023. Uh, this is the bracket for the grill I was talking about. I've never used it. It's still in the box in the kitchen. I'll get to that eventually. Uh, the slide's on there, and there's a propane hookup down below. And hoses, but like I said, I never tried it. There's the propane hookup. Never tried it, so don't know anything about it. It's brand new, though. All right, I've opened up the rear kitchen. It's a door in the back, and I'll show you. When I get back to the exterior, this is the kitchen area. It's the water pump, it has decent storage. It came with this hose that hooks up to a connection on the uh, driver's side. Never used it. Uh, we're supposed to be able to use that to spray. I mean, you wash, a, wash your feet off, you can take a shower if you wanted to. The shelf up above it does have a light down here, which is kind of nice. There's no uh, hot water heater. But, uh, it does have the fresh tank and the uh, the gray tank below. There's no black tank because there's no bathroom. There's the rest of the grill. The grill and everything is in the box. You know, I did open it. Well, that side's open. Uh, never took it out or anything. There's a 12 volt DC fridge, DC only. Uh, it'll work off shore power through the converter inside the RV. But uh, if you're out boondocking, it'll run off the battery. Uh, what I could tell when I was out with it was that the uh, compressor drew about two amps when on uh, when I was running off battery. So it depends where you go, you know, how off, you know, how cold you keep it, blah blah blah. But uh, I had it on uh, like the lowest or second to lowest setting up here, and uh, kept it cold enough. I mean. Didn't, wasn't really using the freezer or anything. It kept it cold enough and that was running probably 10 minutes an hour. So, what's that, like a 0.3 amp hours per hour? Yeah, per day, that's probably a minimum of 10, 10 amp hours of battery it's using if you let it run all day. Okay, I'll open up the back now. It just has the lock and then each corner has a uh, latch. I'll just let this one go and show you. Comes up on a... Uh, we have two of these, uh, I don't know what to call them, uh, struts. <laughs> Easy to open and close. I'm 6'4", I touch the uh, ceiling when it's open, unless I happen to be in a hole like I am right now. But uh wouldn't make, make kind of an awning. I mean, it's a simple camper for traveling light. Uh, you could definitely uh, sit here in two lawn chairs, get out of the sun a little bit. I'll go around. That's the other side. And I might uh, redo the video later. 
I had to clean it up with some dirt from the rain and everything on the wheels. And the storage here, and I'll show you the inside. That passes through. There's a door on the opposite side. On the inside, under the bed, that you can open up to have a opening from the inside in, into that storage area. Now it does have solar on the roof, which I'll get to. That's a 100 watt panel, which puts out a peak, I think like 6264 six, amps. And uh, like your average summer day in the sun, uh, if it were sunny all day, you'd get a lot, of, a lot more power than you need off that. But if you're in the shade, you know, in April somewhere, <laughs> It's not going to provide much power at all just because it, it is solar and relies on the sun. Um, so it depends how you camp, whether or not that panel would be sufficient. The battery is 100 amp hour, like I think I already mentioned. So it has like 50, 60 amp hours of usable. So even without the solar, if you're conservative, I mean, you could probably go a weekend without any solar input. So. Again, it really depends when and where you park, when you camp, where you park the trailer, etc. About whether or not you're going to have enough power. Yeah, well, obviously I'm up on the roof now. Um, I put a uh, hundred watts of solar on this. Uh, this is a hundred watt panel by Rich Solar. It's a cutoff switch. Anytime you uh, Work on the battery or a charge controller or the panel or anything, you should disconnect the panel from the rest of the system. And the manufacturer put in a nice uh, solar jack up here. I had 300 watts up here. I took the 200 watt panel off for my uh, next RV, but a 200 watt panel will fit there and give you plenty of solar. It's a fiberglass roof, it's not a rubber roof or anything. And I think they rate it for about a thousand pounds, but it is pretty solid. I've walked around up here, crawled around up here. It's, there's no movement at all. Okay, I'm in the uh, storage compartment on the driver's side. The one that goes through to the interior with the door. But I uh, just want to show you where the inverter would go. Um, I haven't looked into how to wire it. Um, and that's a Renogy 20 amp solar charge controller, except for the uh, AGM. AGM battery and it's just topping it off right now. All right, just wanted to show you this. That'll handle up to, uh, well, probably 300 watts if you want to add additional solar. Well, I got this on a uh, watt, extreme wide angle lens so you can actually see what's uh, what's in here. And it's got a nice, uh, just like this, it's got a nice window with a, a latch. It holds it nice. And this, uh, these blinds are very light, they're almost like a blackout. Now it's got a 8000 BTU air conditioner, which is oversized. And it's got this fireplace with the uh, simulated fire. Um, they both need power, either generator or shore power to operate. Um, they're both oversized. If you run that on high or that run the heat on high, you're going to get a uh, forced out of the camper eventually. You're going to get too cold or too hot. Um, there's some USB ports and regular AC port or uh, receptacle over there. I'll turn these lights on. <laughs> got two lights in here. Um, this cabinet, which is kind of nice. <laughs> sticking got my ceiling or my cleaning supplies in there haven't gotten in here either yet to clean it smoke alarm this vent with no fan in it um it's been fine because the area is so small with the window open and the uh door open the screen door open it's plenty of airflow shelf up here and this i put this in for uh my clothes because uh well you don't have much storage space with just the uh, cabinetry there but uh i can put all my clothes in there easily for a week and uh they just get like socks underwear shirts <laughs> pants over here easy access it's got the pop-up tower for when you're at shore power um 
It's got a AC port, USB. Now, if you decided someday to put an inverter um, to be able to run uh, AC power off of the battery only, um, it an inverter installed uh, the way the trailer is designed would, would energize this, not the other outlets in the trailer. Put that one over there. So, I mean, if you wanted to think about being able to run the AC or the uh, heat off of that, I mean, you could unplug the AC, run a cord over to that, but you're going to need a lot of battery and a lot of solar panels to be able to do that while boondocking. Probably lithium batteries so you can actually draw the power off quick enough. But uh, let me turn around, show you the window. I think I should have that too. I'm gonna take my St. Francis off. Um, this bed actually is pretty nice. I camped once by myself and then I used a memory foam twin size mattress. Thing and just put it on here and took the uh, cushions out and put them in the house. Then we're camping with my wife and uh, we made a full bed, pulled it out, pulls out and down below. I guess you get the idea, these pull out and you can create a full size bed. Um, actually, it wasn't bad. I and mean, I was, uh, like I said, I'm 6'4, about 240 pounds, so that was pretty, uh, pretty comfortable for us. But, uh, to sleep. But two people in here, you know, especially me with my size, it's pretty hard to get around. But I had a memory foam pad on here and a cross, and I was, uh, had plenty of length on here for me to sleep. So, after I get it clean, I may replace this, uh, redo this video with the clean trailer. I'll put this out now in Marketplace to see, what I, see if anybody's interested. All right, take care.